a world of wonder of late Zoo at the ABQ Bio Park, and it takes volunteers to make that world go round. Absolutely, course. and new volunteer orientation is this Thursday, and joining us to tell us more about being a Bio Park volunteer are Tally Siegel, and Tally is the Bio Park's education curator. Welcome, Tally. Good morning. Good, Good to morning. have you. And also Megan Lanigan, the zoo's education coordinator. Welcome to you as Thank well. You. Good morning. And, and you guys brought yeah. your friend, a little friend here. Yes, we did. Is he friendly? What's his name? This is Irwin. He's an American alligator, and he's been with the bio park for just a few months. Mm -hmm. And he's as friendly as you see me restraining him. Uh -huh. um, he will get much bigger than this. So. Right, of course. But he's a great educational animal while he's this size. So he's a wow. little baby right now. He's a baby. He's about three years old. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So will he bite? Now he or now he could or now could if he was stressed out. You might see him start to wiggle, and I might put him down if he does. We will not oh, stress okay. him out. But I've yeah. got him restrained. <laughs> so yeah. he is one man we will not stress right. out. Exactly. I've decided on this one. <laughs> Meanwhile, yes. Tally, there are several entities obviously that make up the bio park. Can you tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about it for those who don't know? Absolutely. The bio park is an umbrella that um, incorporates the zoo, mm -hmm. the botanic garden, the aquarium, and then also mm -hmm. Tingley Beach. So That's it's amazing. A big um, facility. And you guys had record attendance again this year we across did. the whole thing, yes. right? Yes. Over Doesn't that feel great? A million people, yes. And yes. I think we're getting the word out now to even more people who aren't aware mm -hmm. of what you offer. Absolutely. It's a terrific resource for people in Albuquerque, for visitors to Albuquerque. Mm -hmm. It's just a wonderful place to visit and right. hang out. And you guys need volunteers, so how does that work exactly, the volunteer program? Well, Irwin's a great example of where volunteers have a very important role. They okay. are able to use education animals to take them all across uh, the state of New Mexico, mm -hmm. particularly to rural areas where children may not have the opportunity to come to a mm -hmm. great bio park like we have here. Um, so Irwin and some smaller alligators that we have actually can go on the road with Zoo to You and go right to kids' schools. Oh, so nice. they are very highly trained volunteers who learn about these animals, their habitats, and what their mm -hmm. educational message is with conservation and why this is not a good pet. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, they're really critical to the program. Well, how does someone become a volunteer? Um, we go ahead. we uh, we take all sorts of folks who are who are just interested in sharing our message of conservation, who are interested okay. in fostering a sense of stewardship for the planet. Nice. So you can have any background um, at all. We ask in the fall in their fall volunteer trainings that volunteers are for some of our positions 16 years and older, okay. the rest of our mm -hmm. positions 18 years and older. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, but anybody who's got a little bit of time and interest in learning more about one of the facilities of the biopark and investing some time in um, right. sharing sharing their 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 energy and Passion message energy. with, with yeah. visitors. Yeah. It sounds park. like such a fun job, but what, what's the commitment involved? Absolutely. There are lots of different positions that we'll mm -hmm. be talking about during our volunteer orientation and that we'll be training people in over the course of the fall. The biggest commitment comes with our docent training program. That's that? a 12-week um, lecture program where we train volunteers who are interested in either being teachers at the zoo or the aquarium or the botanic garden mm -hmm. and we give them a background in ecology and then we start going into either the collections or um, the different exhibits talk about the animals and sort of their their roles in the wild and mm -hmm. what our message is with them at the bio park um, that so that's a pretty intensive commitment definitely yeah. well, um, and it's a volunteer commitment you're volunteering volunteer commitment. so the question we would have then for those who are out there thinking, well, I'm not making money, but what are the perks? Uh, the perks are you learn how to restrain Irwin, number one. Right. <laughs> when not to panic. Yeah. When the alligator starts to struggle. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think the perks are, for first of all, you get such an amazing opportunity to work with animals with yeah. um, not necessarily having a tremendous background True. in animal handling. You get right. on-the-job training. Um, and it's just such a great thing to be able to talk about animals that are from our, um, our state right here that are endangered sure. or threatened, like the New Mexican gray wolf. Um, alligators, you know, not coming from our area, but also being from the Florida area, you know, they were once nearly extinct in the 50s. Right. So because of what we do in captivity, these animals have had an amazing comeback. And as a volunteer, you get to teach about all these things and That's really right. get people excited about 
you know, taking a big role and having a great mm -hmm. big responsibility and making our planet better. Yeah. Absolutely. And you get an arm workout too. You do. <laughs> you do. I've got kind of a firm hold on him. He might be ready to go back. He's Let's doing see. very well. Uh, yeah, he is. Okay. I'm very impressed. If I'm calm, he's calm. So he's mm -hmm. like, all right, if you get nervous, I might want to leave. So. And what a great tool as a, just as a human being to learn at a young age mm -hmm. for those who want to volunteer. You said 16, 18 year olds. I mean, it's a great way to get your career started if this is something you're passionate about. So let's tell our viewers where they can go for more information information on volunteering? Well, come to the Biopark on Thursday, okay. 12 to 1. We'll be doing an orientation on all of our volunteer trainings coming up this fall. That includes the docent trainings, that includes touch pools and Biopark readers, um, and a, several other programs as well. Uh, you can also go to our website at cabq.gov slash biopark to find out more about the different volunteer positions, read our job descriptions, and send in your application online. That's great. Fantastic. Now, yeah. what do you guys have coming up this fall? I know mean, there's probably a lot to Oh stuff. gosh, there's a lot of really great stuff Amazing. coming up this fall. We've got an elephant birthday party coming up at the end of oh, this month. Fun. I love elephants. We're kicking off a bug blitz at the Botanic Garden first of the month of September. And then you can go to that website too. And you can to go to that website to find out well, all thanks, of that. Thank you so much for coming yeah, in. It's been a pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. And thanks for being so well behaved. Says, thank you. It's been great. <laughs> well, coming up next, you've got to know when to hold them. And we'll tell you about a Santa Fe woman who is risking it all to get her first full-length feature film on the big screen. You got to know.